Uh, I think so. He might have came off. I think he come off. No, maybe not. No, he's there. Pompano. Feels like a pompano. Little one. Hey! There we go. Now, hopefully, he's a keeper. Yeah, pompano ceviche. <laughs> All right, to save y'all time watching this video, I already did everything. I already cut up everything. So, I'm about to show you what I put in it and how I put it together. All right, guys, here's the pompano. I cut it into quarter inch, half inch sizes, and I got it in the juice of two limes and two lemons. I usually let it soak for about 30 to 45 minutes. It's completely cooked. The acidity in the lemons and the limes, that's what cooks this fish. That's what makes ceviche, right? All right, now for our vegetables, we have one half of a red onion chopped, one half a bunch of parsley, two avocados, one cucumber, two plum tomatoes, a half of a mango, one orange bell pepper, two jalapenos, remove the seeds, and a half of a bunch of cilantro. All right, well, it's hard to do this because I ain't got nobody filming me, but uh, I'm gonna drain the juice out of this pompano. So I'll be right back with it drained. Now that I have all the pompano strained, I'm gonna add all this right here to that. Okay, now see, look, this thing is almost full and this is what my wife and my son demolished the last time. So now we're gonna take this pompano, put it up in there just like that. Make sure we get every little piece of the delicious pompano out of there. And we're gonna take this half of orange. We're just gonna put some of this juice inside of it. Just squeeze it, doesn't need to be perfect. And the last step right here, fresh cracked black pepper. Just let your soul tell you what to put in there. And a little bit of sea salt. I like using a container that I could just clamp it on. Instead of stirring it up, what I'll do is I'll just shake it up. Get all mixed together nice and shaped up. It'll be easy. All right, y'all, now it's all mixed up. Look how good that looks. Got the chip, about to taste it. All right, here we go. Pompano ceviche. This is so freaking good. Last time I didn't put avocado in it, and this really made it so much better this time. All right, y'all, full recipe will be down in the description. This is absolutely delicious. You can add, take away, whatever you wanna do with this recipe. It's not a set in stone recipe. You can do whatever you want with it. You can add more spice, different peppers, fruits, whatever you want, and it's dynamite. I thought I made some the other day and I put a couple things in here that I didn't do the other day and this came out a hundred times better. All right, I gotta get it away from me so I can say something for my wife and my son because uh, this is better than what I made the other day. And if I told them that I ate it all, and it was better than the other day they'd probably be really mad at me so i hope y'all like this video make sure to subscribe drop a like drop a comment all that good stuff we normally do and i'll check y'all on the next one later